you've been watching us for a while or you're new to this channel, one of the things that we're known for are road trips. In fact, we love road trips and this is how this channel got started. Yeah, this channel actually got started in 2017 when we did a 150 day road trip across the country, 27,000 kilometers, coast to coast to coast. We really saw a lot of Canada that year and in fact, the 2009 Honda Pilot that's right behind us is the vehicle we bought that year in Newfoundland to start that road trip and we've kept it since. It's getting a bit outdated but it's taken us on many trips since then as we go deeper and deeper into the country and because of all these road trips I think we've become road trip experts. Because of that expertise we're often asked how to prepare for a road trip and what kind of road trip products we like to use. So in this video, we've actually partnered with some exclusive brands found only at Canadian Tire, including Motomaster, Simonize, Reflex, and Blue Hive, to showcase some of the great products you can find in their automotive department. They actually asked us to look through their website and choose the ones that we think would be the most helpful before, during, and after a road trip. So first things first, let's talk about tires. These are obviously a very critical part of your road trip and it all depends on how much tread you have left, the kind of season, and maybe the type of terrain you're gonna be driving on as well. There's essentially four kinds of tires, winter tires, summer tires, all season tires and all weather tires. I believe there's a fifth one for all terrain if you're gonna be doing a lot of off-roading, but I won't go into that because I have no idea about those kinds of tires. So essentially, it can be kind of confusing between all weather and all season, but to kind of give you just a rough summary, all seasons are typically good for most seasons, but not the winter, and all weathers are actually good. All four seasons, they have the snowflake symbol, which makes them uh, very good for winter driving as well. That's typically what I go with because I don't like the high maintenance. Like I just like to leave the tires on and not worry about it and have them changed all year round. But it can also be a good idea to have two sets of tires and then they'll last you twice as long anyway. So it's not really that big a deal. So first things first, you wanna make sure if you have enough tread, I'll put some links in the, in the description so you can find out how to do that. You can actually do it with uh, a Canadian quarter pretty easily. Our last tires were down to the bare minimum. So we actually had them changed by Canadian Tire. Now they unfortunately didn't have any all-weather tires on hand, so we went with their Motomaster all-season tires. These are really highly ranked tires and they're going to be great pretty much all year round, but we're going to, because we drive in the mountains, we're going to be switching to winter tire tires during that time. Uh, when it comes to certain places such as BC and the Canadian Rockies during the winter, it's actually mandatory to have the snowflake symbol on your tires. So you would have to have winter tires or the all weathers. However, these are beautiful tires for what we're gonna be doing this summer. And because we're now gonna have two sets of tires, we also went for a second set of rims. We have the beautiful black rims from Envy that are from Canadian Tire that we'll be having in the warmer months. And then we're gonna leave on our crappier old Honda rims on the winter tires for the winter months because it's just much easier to leave them on the rims as it's easier to get them changed. So since we're on the subject of tires, another product that I always love to have in the vehicle with us is a tire inflator kit. So the one that I previously had was a much cheaper version. It did the job, but it didn't have all the bells and whistles of this one. This one's called the Mighty Quiet Inflator. So it's reduced noise, which is good because the last one I had is very, very loud. But the other cool things about this is that it's not only good for your vehicle, it's also good if you have a bike or small inflatable toys like a basketball, it'll work for those as well. And one of the things that really stands out to me is that this one has a preset tire pressure setting with automatic sh shutoff. So before I would have to inflate the tires, stop, check the, you know, check the, the PSI levels, make sure it was good. With this one, you can actually have that preset and it'll turn off when it hits that mark. So that's pretty sweet. They're very small and they're just good to have because if you do get low on air, if you get a flat and you fix the flat or you're just low on air in the winter time, instead of having to find a gas station that has an air compressor, usually pay money for those, you just take this out and use it that way. So let's open it up. So to give you a quick rundown on how it works, at the top is where you'll find your digital display, how you would power it on, change your settings. But what's really cool is they actually give you adapters as well for everything you might need. So for example, this is the one for a basketball. So that's really great, comes in handy. 
and then you keep make sure you always have it. It actually comes with a spare fuse in case that goes out when you're using it. It comes with the hose, which is easy to wrap around this and keep it nice and tidy. Your LED light so you can see what you're doing. And this is where you would power it up. So it actually comes with a 12 volt adapter. So you can easily plug that into your car when you need it and use it on the road. So I'm actually pretty excited for this. I used my last one a lot. I used it until it finally didn't work after many years, but this one has way more functionality. Another important product you might want to consider is a safety kit. A lot of us never have one of these, I find, but the day you need it, you'd be happy that you have it. This one from Motomaster comes with 89 pieces, pretty much everything you need, including a first aid kit, your jumper cables, they're eight foot jumper cables, and they're good to have even if you have the Easy Boost product because you never know, maybe you didn't charge that one and then it won't work. This also comes with uh, basically like kind of those safety reflectors to put on the road so people know that you're broke down. You have an air compressor kit. It's obviously not as good as the other one, but it would be there in case you need it. You have gloves, a flashlight, and pretty much a lot of tools that you might need. It even comes with a rain poncho in case it's raining. So I think they've pretty much thought about everything. But let's open it up. I like that they put it in a nice carrying case like this. It just makes it easy to pack away and store somewhere. All right, so first up, these, this is an emergency blanket. So if you were to break down and it's really cold or something like this, this will help keep you warm. And there's your air compressor. So as you can probably tell, definitely not as high quality as the other air compressor we featured, but it will definitely get the job done if you're broken down. Instructions, there's your gloves. <laughs> there's your little thing with suction cups. I, I don't know what you would call this, but basically a reflector that you put on the road. There's your jumper cables, some tape, zip ties. So they call this a recovery strap, but basically to help maybe someone tow you or you tow someone else. There's the little rain poncho right here. And then it comes with all kinds of tools that you might need. This is like a multi-tool. And you have your screwdriver. Oh my God, so Even comes with a headlamp. This. And your first aid kit in case you have any cuts. Comes with some band-aids and some alcohol to help clean the wound. So, I think they've thought of pretty much everything you could want and the nice thing is you don't have to buy it all separately and pack it all together, it just comes all handy in this box. Another critical component of a road trip is your windshield. Obviously you want to keep it clean so you can actually see through the window. And so one thing I definitely recommend having is all season washer fluid. I've been in times where I didn't have any in the car with me and I actually ran out because obviously, like a lot of people, I didn't check how much windshield washer fluid I had before I left and my window was literally so coated in dirt that I had to pull over and get a water bottle. Thankfully, I had some water and literally just wipe it with my hand because otherwise I wouldn't be able to operate the vehicle. So it's a good thing to keep this in your vehicle and to make sure it's full before you leave and just make sure you have the right one. This one's all season, so you can use it all throughout the season, including down to minus 40. And then of course the windshield wipers themselves. I actually didn't know that there was different windshield wipers depending on the season, but either way, you'll wanna make sure that your windshield wipers are doing the job they should be. And if they're not, it's probably time to replace them. So now that we've gone over some of the more critical things you wanna have on a road trip, let's get in some of the nice to haves. So despite having this big vehicle for me and Carla, sometimes we fill it up, especially when we're going camping, we're bringing the paddle boards, sometimes we bring our dog, all the camera gear, and we surprisingly start to run out of space. So this is a rooftop cargo carrier, but the nice thing about these is you can put them on a car as well, which obviously has much less space to begin with, as well as an SUV, just to give you added room to bring more stuff wherever you're going. So even though it's fairly big, you can probably tell that it's not that heavy. It has a nice carbon fiber look to it. And all you need is the key, you open it up, 
and voila. So you have a lot of space to store extra bags, maybe sleeping bags, maybe a really annoying kid that's been acting up. It's very easy to install. We were actually gonna install it for you today, but we realized we actually don't have crossbars on our Honda. We thought we did, so we need to order those first. Uh, but we're definitely gonna be using this on our next camping trip, but it's quite easy. It comes with four of these. To loosen them, you just unwind it that way. You stick it through four little slots in here. It goes over the crossbars and then you tighten it and that's it. So as of now, we've been showing you a lot of Motomaster products, which is one of Canadian Tire's biggest brands, as well as some Reflex products. Another brand of theirs is Blue Hive. So this is uh, more kind of accessories that help inside your vehicle. So we went through the website and the three that we thought would work the best for us on a road trip are these three here. So to start things off, the smartphone mount, especially if you have an older vehicle like us, you want to have your phone ready. We use Google Maps a lot. We listen to music a lot. So this helps so that you're not always looking down at your phone. We actually have it installed on our windshield right now and it just keeps the phone in front of you and easy to navigate. Another important feature is the multi-tip charge and sync cable. I can't tell you how many times We've needed a certain kind of cable and didn't have it, especially thanks to having different products. If you're an Apple product user like us, you know that they're always changing things around. They don't have the headphone jack anymore and things like that. So this one actually has four different cables so that you make sure you're not actually forgetting one at home. And lastly, a power bank. So this is really good and comes in handy if your phone dies on the road and you have no other way of charging it. It actually has happened to us before where we were gonna get a drone shot and I need to use my phone and unfortunately the phone was dead and so we can't use the drone anymore. So it actually affected you know, our business that day. So having one of these on hand is really handy. As you could probably tell by the first half of this video, our car is not very clean and it gets worse after a road trip. So Canadian Tire also have uh, some cleaning supplies from one of their brands called Simonize. <laughs> we think that that's how you pronounce it. And they send us all kinds of products. Yeah, they have, uh, they have really a, a cleaning product for everything you can imagine. I'm probably a little bit too lazy to use all of this kind of stuff. I like the multi-purpose stuff, but you have carpet and upholstery cleaner, snow foam wash, rim and tire cleaners, wash and wax, tire shine, glass cleaner, protectant, multi-purpose cleaner. <laughs> there's literally a cleaner for every single part of Even the vehicle. Even one for bug removal, which is key after a road trip in Canada, trust me, those bugs are like super glue. <laughs> <laughs> it's gross. But anyway, they also send a lot of um, other like supplies that you can even use at home. Like I really love these like etch etchless towels. I love them to cleaning like the mirrors and any kind of services because it doesn't leave the lint or any like a strict mark. So these are come, these ones come very handy, but I'm also very excited about this trash bin because someone always throws the garbage on the floor so hopefully this will help so we can contain the trash i mean you're driving so it's just easy you pick it up later i know but it looks horrible it looks trashy but also key after a road trip if you don't have a, you know maybe your vacuum's too big for the house you get a cordless handheld vacuum like this to really clean up that car because usually you pick up a lot of dust and dirt and even sand depending where you're going so I think this will come in handy but i think maybe what we should do right now is clean the vehicle no yes maybe we're not gonna show all the products because you're gonna be sitting in front of your computer or tv for an hour but maybe this will give us a very good idea of how they work first let's see how the trash bin comes ah oh, even has some straps so you can actually hang it in one of the seats all right so this is kind of cool because you just need to put these things in here and it will hold the trash. So now we can start cleaning. Now that all the garbage is picked up, it's time to vacuum. I'm excited about the vacuum, not only because of the vehicle, but it actually will come in handy for camping and cleaning out your tent. A lot of times we bring a, a, a broom with us, to, but of course you can only get so much. So this will really help. So let's open it up. 
looks like it comes with a bag to carry it with you, which is nice and helpful. I'm not sure if it comes charged. A lot of the times they don't, so we might have to charge this before using it. But yeah, it looks pretty, pretty small and compact. Can even clean Carl off with this. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm always cleaner than you. There's your battery. <laughs> it also comes with different parts. I believe there's four different attachments. So this is the main one that's always part of it. The longer piece, probably to get down in between the seats. The big one, I don't know what you call these, but for the floor. And one that's a little more narrow. Maybe this is more to get down between the seats. <laughs> Getting more serious now. We're gonna put on the proper attachment. It just slides in like that. Well, so far so good. I like it. It's compact, does the job. Now it's time to clean the leather. According to the instructions, uh, you also need like a damp cloth. So I'm gonna use uh, the microfiber towel as well as the co collapsible bucket with some water just to make the cloth wet. Then I just squeeze it to just leave it damp. And now let's go and try it out. Um, voila! Oh my god, how come it? I guess just like this. Hmm. Finito, the car seats are clean, and I'm, I'm sure that this is doing a good job because look at the water, it's great. I feel ashamed now, I didn't know it was this dirty. Now for my favorite cleaner, multi-purpose. I love things that handle more things than just one. But first I'm gonna actually put on this fun looking mitt that's used for dusting, do a little dusting and then use the multi-purpose cleaner to clean most of our dash. So this is pretty easy. You basically spray it on the surface from six inches away, wait 30 seconds for it to penetrate and then wipe it off with a damp cloth. Now that we're done cleaning the interior, we're gonna move on to the protectant. So this one's ultra shine, this one's normal, I guess. They both offer UV protection and give it that, that shine that everyone seems to like. So we're actually gonna use both, but we're gonna put the ultra shine on the passenger side and the regular one on the driver, just to see if there's actually a difference. So for these ones, you actually spray it onto the cloth first to a dry cloth or sponge, and then wipe it into the surface. Actually has a really nice smell, like a fruit. <laughs> now I'm gonna use the Ultra Shine on my side. So let's see if we can notice a difference. I think I like this one better. Like it seems like it's more noticeable than the other one, to my opinion. What do you think, Matthew? All depends if you like the shine. My dad hates the shine, but you like it. Right? Well, because he said that it's so shiny that sometimes it reflects on your face and I don't find that it's that shiny. <laughs> now we're going to use the glass cleaner. A lot of people probably focus more on the outside, but the inside windows get dirty as well. So we actually got some glass cleaning towels, microfibers, as well as the solution. See? <laughs> That's the dirt on the inside of the window. So surprisingly, there's not too many bugs on the front of the vehicle right now but after some road trips it's really coated it's one of the most annoying things because even at the car wash i find them really hard to get off you have to scrub quite hard so i'm pretty excited if this actually works it just says it takes off bugs as well as bird poop but you got to splash some water on it first and then spray the product on there and let it sit for 30 seconds and then scrub it off with the bug sponge. <laughs> it's coming off there pretty good. I forgot that we had a hose, which makes things much easier than <laughs> using the bucket. And it says not to leave the product on, so I don't know. We don't want to try it just in case. 
Yeah, it works. It looks super clean. Oh my God, I love this. And with no effort. Now that the interior of the car is clean, we're gonna move on to the exterior. However, some of the products they sent us, which looked so great to use, you got the snow foam wash and the foam gun that you can actually hook up to your main hose on the side of the house and then use it to clean your car with soap. But here in Calgary, it's actually not allowed. I just found out, I Googled it to make sure, and you're not actually allowed to use any kind of soap products, including biodegradable because they don't want anything going into the storm drains that is not water. So instead, we're gonna take it over to the car wash, wash it that way, so then we can actually use the rim and tire cleaners that they sent us. All right, so we've just washed the car. There's just a few final steps left. The first one being using a drying towel to wipe off all the water. This stops you from getting any of those water marks if you're uh, really into having a clean car. So we got this one from Simon Eyes. Oh, big enough to be a blanket for our dog. Last but not least, we're gonna clean those tires and make them shiny. These ones honestly don't need too much because they're brand new and the rims are brand new as well. So we're not gonna bother with the rim and tire cleaner but we are gonna use the foaming tire shine just to give them some shine. So with this one, you just spray it onto the tire, you wait 10 minutes, and then you can either, you don't have to even wipe it off. It should be done, but you can wipe it off if you want. Well, it's just been 10 minutes and the wheels are looking super shiny and brand new. So definitely the product works. And that also concludes it for this video. Yeah, our car looks super sharp. I don't think I've seen it this clean before. And we didn't even do a very deep cleaning. Not bad so, for a car that's what, 13 years old. Yeah, actually it looks all nice and shiny. Well, this is the first video that we've done this way we would like to know in the comments if you like it what's your favorite product that you like if you have any other products that you recommend as well it would be nice to know for everyone yeah we'd love to hear about that and also of course if you like this video give us a thumbs up subscribe to this channel and if you want to learn more about getting ready for a road trip just look at in the description below we're going to have a link to our detailed travel guide on mustdocanada.com for this second Wait. part of the video, yeah. we're just hiding in the trunk because the sun is super strong. <laughs> very strong. Believe it or not, it gets very hot in Canada. Yeah, it does. Keep shaking it. Shake it. Shake it like you're and, Ah! Freak, so make sure that the wind blows in the right direction. <laughs>